Welcome everyone to the last and longest running celebration of the four end of the year events of ESO, the New Life Festival. It runs between the 13th of December and the 2nd of January, so it's basically Christmas and New Year smashed together into a big celebration. To join the event, go to the Crown Store, choose Holiday on the left, and get the free quest starter, the New Life Festival scroll. It gives you a very simple quest, all you have to do is just go to East Marsh and find the New Life Celebration Tent. It is right next to the Kynes Grove Way Shrine. You will find an NPC in there called Breda. Talk to her to complete the quest and get her bottomless meat mug collectible, as well as a New Life Festival box. Activating the collectible will grant you a 100% XP bonus for 2 hours. Now, this celebration is almost 3 weeks long, so that's… that's a lot of XP. After you turned in this quest, you can come back to Breda every day to get a daily quest from her. There are 9 different quests, and they send you to different locations throughout Tamriel. For example, on the first day I had to go to probably the worst place in the game. Bethnik, an island full of orcs. And then there was this lady orc who wanted me to get her some flesh and honey, and the thing is that there were hundreds of people out there farming the same mobs I had to. And then everybody was burping at me for no reason. Best Christmas ever. Anyway, when you complete the daily quest and return to Breda, you will get another New Life Festival box. For some reason, I also get a mysterious reward box from the previous event. I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is just a bug, but if something similar happens to you, please let me know in the comments down below, I'm kinda curious. Ok, as you can see, completing a daily quest also gives you an event ticket. You can get only one per day. Now, I'm sure everybody knows what you can use these tickets for by now. Since this is the last event in the Angang series, you can finally buy the fourth and last Indric Feather from the Impresario Merchant in either Glenumbra, Oridon or Stonefalls. You can buy it for 10 tickets as usual. If you got the four different Indric Feathers, you can combine them to get the Nascent Indric Mount. Now let's open up the present! These New Life Festival boxes can contain crafting and style materials, recipes, consumables, collectibles such as mementos, hats, a costume or furnishing items, but other than these you can also get skin changer motif pages and sometimes New Life Charity reads too. These reads can be completed pretty easily, because you just need to craft some basic furnishing items. But the real deal is that if you complete 12 charity reads, you get this awesome skin. Now, if you feel that you have completed everything and there is nothing more you can do on this event, well, good news! There are a lot of achievements you can do, and they are pretty fun. And also, look at the daily rewards. Hmm... yeah... <laughs> Moving on! Ok, there is one last thing you should know about. If you gift Crown Store items to at least two different accounts in December on the same platform and server, and the gift's total value is at least 1000 crowns, then you will get this Griffon pet. So just send your friends goats, or, or expensive goats, or whatever they like. Spread the holiday cheer and have fun, y'all! Thank you very much for watching, if you liked this video, leave a like, I appreciate it very much, and see you in the next video. Roll the outro!